Today, I'm just in the studio now. We just did a, a, a live video called uh, um, The Blood Never Lies, okay? And uh, here's your one a day. Your one a day is um, love is not the answer. It's hot and messy. Let me say something, okay? And that's this. We have not been uh, taught how to actually um, perfect or even master love, okay? All right, so understand. We can't live without love. Love is like oxygen. Without oxygen, okay, when you cut your oxygen level down, you mutate, you get sick, you get diseased, well, okay? When you have contaminated, corrupted love, you're gonna get sick as well, okay? And look at that, isn't that something? You know, I hardly know anybody, and I mean anybody on the planet that has mastered love, okay? Now, I'm talking about really mastering love. Now, understand something. Remember what I always say? That until you learn to totally love yourself, you'll never heal yourself. And a lot of people have a problem with this, but understand something. That's it right there. Okay, let's look at the fundamentals of this. And I know we all have different religions, we all have different beliefs, but um, here's mine, okay? So I hope that you're gonna be okay with it. I hope you can digest it to a certain degree. And that is, is that which created the whole universe is not love, it's not even total love. It's beyond. Let me tell you, what, whatever that was that created the universe, which people call God or Jehovah or whatever you wanna call it, okay, that is the most brilliant, beautiful energy that has ever been created, ever. And if you even got a glimpse of that which we call God, I'm sure that we'd have a heart attack or a fart attack and die. And understand something, that which you call love is an earthly thing, okay? And did you ever notice down here that everybody says that love is the answer, but no matter how you try, you, you justify, you cry, you, your heart gets broken, your heart is empty, you feel lonely, well, that's because you missed out. Because when you first came here as a pure spirit, you were that which was beyond total love. When you came here and you were in your mother's womb, you got to learn what love was on the planet, which is very dysfunctional, okay? Love is lonely, love is angry, love is jealous, love, uh, your heart gets broken into pieces, you know, that's what we learn, okay? So what, what people say is, is that family means love. Well, let me tell you something. With most families, you can have that love. I don't want it, it's so dysfunctional. Because until you do know how to totally love yourself and honor yourself and respect yourself, you can't totally love another. You can't respect another. You can't honor or protect another. Let me tell you something. I have a guy that I talk to, and uh, a gentleman, I should say, and he loves his wife dearly. He says he loves her more than anything else, but he can't stop cheating on her. Why? Because his heart is empty. If his heart was full of love from himself, okay, because for some reason, his wife isn't enough. Now, meanwhile, he hasn't done it once, he hasn't done it twice, he's done it often. Right now, she's in the hospital and she's in critical care. Right now, she doesn't even realize it because the subconscious rules, fools, and schools you. She's been deeply hurt over the years by her husband. So now she's deeply hurting her to hurt her husband on a subconscious level. I communicate with both of them. I told him, do the 12 self-loving steps and do the couple's connection. I said, do that every day and don't call me for at least two weeks. They couldn't even do it. You'll find this in Braveheart. They wouldn't do it. Why wouldn't they do it? Why wouldn't they do it? Because he's so full of guilt from cheating on her and she is so, now, so full of guilt on a subconscious level. Maybe on a conscious level he still is, but on a subconscious level, he knows it's wrong, especially when he talks about being a Christian. Then we've got her. So this has been going on for years, and all she, she wants to do is get better, but they have spent, oh my gosh, so much money. They've spent all their money, all their money, okay? She won't let him get close to her. Now, if she doesn't let him get close to her, he may just do that again, right? That's what happens. Because that justifies his subconscious. That's why he does it, because he doesn't get the love he needs from her. 
but she needs to punish him because her heart's been broken so bad and she used to have him fill up her heart when they first met. Not, that's not heart smart. So you go ahead, you fall in love head over heels. You have that girl, that guy totally fill up your heart. And that's why they say the honeymoon is over because nobody has the energy for that. I don't have the energy to fill up my partner's heart every day. I have, I'm gonna fill up my heart every day and I'm gonna shine that light on my partner and my children and everyone else that comes in front of me because that is the answer. Love is not the answer, self-love is the answer. So what's gonna happen here? Well, guess what? This gentleman was told yesterday that his wife has 24 hours to live. She's dying of a broken heart, but she has to actually, uh, you have to suffocate the spirit to kill the body. Did you get that? Do you ever notice when two people have been together forever? There's nothing wrong with this. They've been together for 30, 40, 50 years, one leaves. The other one only stays for a few months or maybe up to one or two years. There's nothing wrong with that. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about two young couple that they're probably in their, just their late 20s right now. Okay, so guess what? You go ahead. So when you get here, right, you can throw up on mommy and daddy. You can spit on them. You can poop on them. You can keep them up all night. You can scream all night. But when you start to walk and talk and act like mommy and daddy, that unconditional love is off the table because mom and daddy don't even know that they don't really care for themselves and they're already henpecking each other and they don't like things about each other, right? Okay? Because guess what? We always use love as a ransom. You don't get what you want, what do you do? You pull your love back. You might even pull your sex back and cut your husband off or the husband cuts the wife off, okay? Until you feel that they've been punished enough for what they've done to you. So hurt people hurt people. So yeah, you go ahead and believe that love is the answer and there's the cancer. Because the C in cancer stands for corruption, contamination, and conflict. I think there's enough of it, isn't there? All right, and then you know what? I'm gonna bring this back too because I really think this is important. Jesus said, what did Jesus say? Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Well, I'm telling you right now, don't love me like you love yourself because that would be dangerous. You'll probably go to jail, okay? You understand something? You can't, what Jesus was saying was totally love yourself first and foremost and shine that light. Why do you think they show a big light around Jesus? Why do they show a big light around Buddha? Why do they show a light around all these spiritual people? Because they knew what self-love was about. Okay, so you got Jesus talking about love. You got Buddha talking about peace. Well, you can't have peace unless you have self-love and you're at peace, that's when you're at peace with yourself. And the only time you're at peace with yourself was when somebody's pouring all their love into you. Oh my God, you're so amazing. Uh, because guess what? You have low self-esteem, low self-worth. Look at, like I said, when you start to walk and talk, then guess what? You lose the unconditional love, don't you? Because then there's conditions. Mommy and daddy aren't gonna love you if you do that. Okay, and then when you're a teenager and you look in the mirror on the way out, don't be so conceited. I told my kids when they were teenagers, you look in the mirror on the way out, check yourself out, let yourself know that you love yourself, you're gonna protect yourself and honor yourself tonight when you go home. Before you come home, you're gonna keep yourself safe, you're not gonna get into the drugs, get into a car accident, you're gonna protect your body and you're going to protect your spirit and you're gonna make really great decisions. So understand something, I want my children and I want everyone else to love their, to, to love their looks and to protect themselves inside and out. And I want my children to love themselves first and foremost, not me. Because that's how it works. You know, we're crippling everybody here. All right? And understand, this world, okay, people go, oh yeah, I see changes in the air. Yeah, things are really starting to get good. Let me tell you something. The level of your life and healing, okay, is gonna be measured by how much personal action you take in loving yourself and doing things for yourself. And guess what? When people start saying, hey, you know what? You're so selfish. You're so selfish. That person saying to you, you know what? You start living my life because you've been living my life and doing what I wanted you to do. And now you're starting to really love yourself and you're not a rug anymore. Listen, I don't, I don't mistreat anyone. And I really don't. But people feel they're mistreated when somebody's not filling up their heart. And that person now is not thankful. They're not thankful because they're not full of love. 
So then they get upset. And then guess what we do? We have tantrums. Let me tell you something. 99% of 100 people out there are continually having tantrums all day long. Okay, you're so busy, you know, having tantrums because when you, you saw mommy and daddy, they'd have tantrums with each other. Mommy would hold out on her love or daddy would hold out on her love. So then they'd have a tantrum until this one breaks down. And so now you've been taught to have tantrums because the little girl and you, the little boy and you got suffocated because you weren't allowed to have unconditional love. There's the bottom line here, guys. The world's not gonna want you to change. Your family's not gonna want you to change because guess what? When you start to change, you're not gonna pull your, way, your love away from them. You're gonna start filling up your own heart and that scares the subconscious, not their heart, not their spirit, but they're gonna talk, try to knock the legs from underneath you. Let me tell you something. I was in a relationship for, for 15 years. Well, actually it was 20 years. And, I, and this person was very jealous because of the work I do. I could get a card from an 80 year old woman saying, Dr. Wolf, I love you, thank you so much. And I'm trying to explain to her, she's 80 years old. That, that's it, three to four days I wasn't getting talked to. That was it. Then the next morning, hey, come on, let's have a hug. Oh yeah, you think a hug's gonna make this go away? It's not gonna, now, did I hate her for this? No, this is how she was raised by her parents. So let's just keep the family curse going, okay? Let's make sure we punish everybody if they're not filling our heart up. Understand something, when you go and you meet someone, you will do anything and say anything so that you can get your little heart filled unless you've learned how to do that for yourself, which means you're always gonna have a dysfunctional relationship with the one you love. I don't, and I won't. And I won't have a dysfunctional relationship with my children or my friends or anybody else because they know where I stand. Don't worry, you don't have to fill my heart up with love. I got this already, but I've got my light and I'm going to shine it on you and I'm going to make you feel bright too because I love you. Guess what? I love everybody on this planet and I mean everyone. I may not like all their beliefs, but hey, that's what this planet is about. Different food, different people, different beliefs. Uh, some people like to wear this. Some people like to wear that. You know, we've got people having different sexual preferences. Look at, just love yourself today with all your heart because love is oxygen. Self-love is the answer, okay? And if, and if you don't believe me, then I'll tell you something. Things are hot and messy in your world. Have a beautiful day.